Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to zoom in on a specific area of the screen in CabCub PC. Now I've done this video before, but I want to show you a more efficient way of doing it before I move on to making new videos. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the clip we want to do the editing on. So I just highlighted it there and then I click open. From there I just drag the track down to the timeline. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move the playhead to the area where we want, close to where we want to zoom. Okay, so I've got it primed up right there. Now, first thing, I'm going to take you to the right here. We're going to look at scale, which is also zoom. Okay, so for scale, when it's at 100%, it just means that full picture. It's not zoomed in at all. It's at 100% full picture. Okay. So then we'll take a look down here and it'll say position X zero, which is horizontal is zero and Y is zero, which uh, vertical is zero, which means it's in the middle of the screen. Okay. So if you want to picture that, we will pick this up and then where my cursor is right now, where these two lines are meeting in the center, that means that's where X is zero and Y is zero. Okay. So we're not off of the center at all, we're right in the middle. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add a keyframe right here for the zoom. We want to be right in the center at first, okay? So we don't want to zoom in first, we just wanna be at regular position. So this is full picture, 100%, and then we want to be in regular position for the horizontal and vertical. So I'm gonna add a keyframe right there. So when we do that, it populates one keyframe for the overall zoom and position. So for these two, it will populate one keyframe on the timeline, okay? And then what we do is we just move the playhead forward a tiny bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and then I'm gonna move the cursor to my left. And when I zoomed in, it added a keyframe, okay? And then I, when I move my cursor to the left, so when I drag the screen over to the left, it added a keyframe because the position changed. So the zoom, when I zoomed in and changed it from 100 to another value, it automatically added a keyframe after and that's basically after it did that because after we put the original keyframes in, it adds keyframes here. Okay. So these populated automatically. And then these two equals this keyframe right here on the timeline. So this keyframe is for these positions right here. So it's basically where my hand is. All right. So I'm going to play this and you'll take a quick look. Okay, and that's how you zoom in on the hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave it there for about a second and that means that my hand will stay here and I will stay zoomed in on the hand right here. I'll add a keyframe right there and I'll add a keyframe for this position because I don't want the X and the Y to change. I just want to leave my hand there for a second. So as you can see, stays there for a second. And then here's where I want to zoom out. So I'm just going to put this back to the regular picture. And the regular picture is what? It's 100%. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter 100%. And then that automatically added a keyframe. And then look at this horizontal here. I'm going to put zero. Okay. So then we're at normal horizontal and then vertical. It's going to push it up. Let's guess it's going to push it up. So I put zero and it pushes it up. Okay. So then we're back to the center. So I'll play this quickly. Zooms in, stays there for a second, zooms out. Okay. All right, folks, so that is a very quick tutorial and to the point of how to zoom in to a specific area on the screen. 
The difference is with this tutorial compared to the previous one is I was dragging the screen back instead of just instead of just all you need to do is type the values here uh, to get back to your regular position. Okay, so you type in a hundred for zoom if you want to go back to regular picture and zoom back out to regular picture. Uh, you type zero in the X and zero in the Y if you want to go back to and zoom back out to the regular horizontal and vertical vertical positions. All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.